Hi, I'm Nadir Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you everything about a progress bar how you can use it as a health bar as well so without any further ado, let's begin so if you follow my videos about GUI design with widget blueprint class you know that I did create a blueprint widget class and in my character I created and after that added to viewport and now whatever we put in this canvas panel in here, you can show it. So in this video, we're gonna talk about progress bar. So let's just add one from this panel in here and come up, okay? So let's just change the slot size, put it up here. And first thing first, this is slot that I did talk about it a lot. No matter what you put in this um, canvas panel in here, it will have a, a slot that is canvas panel slot. And I did talk about it a lot. If you don't know about it, just watch my playlist of videos about GUI design in Unreal Engine 5. And you know all about this, okay? So first thing that I want to talk about is this progress. The first parameter is this percent. So it's a value between zero and one. And we can change the value by dragging and dragging from here. And you can see when you put one, it's like 100, okay? And when you put zero, it's like zero percent, okay? And the next option is bar field type. And in here, if you set it to right to left, when you increase this, you can see it start from right to left, okay? Next one is fill from center, it will fill up this slot from center and you can see it it works like this next top to bottom bottom and this is for example let me do it this way increase it this way and now if i change this you can see it works like this if i make it bottom to top you can see it it's work like this and you can change this percent in blueprint as well so let me change everything back change the size like we have it in before like this okay so how we can change the percentage of this in blueprint if you follow my videos you know it by now but let me show you you can bind it to a variable so for that let's just create a variable in our graph in here i want to create a variable of type of load because there the number of this percent is start from zero to one so it should be a float right so i want to change its name to percent and let's just compile and go to our designer node and when we click on this bind we have this percent so whatever you do with this variable percent in your graph it will happen to your progress bar as well so for example let's just go to designer in here and add an, a button okay so let's just add this button here make it a little bit bigger i want to add the text to it <laughs> for just showing you clearly what what this is okay and i want to call this decrease and with this button whenever it's clicked let me go to button and in here on click event whenever it's click i want to change the percentage okay this percent at default you can see we can put it at one so if we compile and run our game you can see it's it's 100 percent okay so whenever they click on this button we want to decrease this percent so how we can do that we can say set percent and in here we want to get the percent and minus it by a value right so we can drag and drop from here get the percent like this and after that we add a minus node in here subtract node in here okay and we give it the percent and we decrease it by 0.1 for example and we set it here like this okay so let's just compile and save and run and whenever i click on this button that says decrease it will decrease this bar progress bar in here and you can see it it works fine so now let's just go back to designer again click on this progress bar next property that i want to talk about is this border padding if you zoom a little bit and change this percent to 100 if you zoom a little bit more if you add the padding in here and in the top as well you can see we have this padding now and you can see it it looks like this so let's just again click on it the next thing that i want to show you is this in this style okay i want to change the background image not the image of course you can use this image but i want to change the tint color in here for example to the red okay and you can see it it won't change why if you expand this you can see that it did change but we can see it in here and i think it's a bug in Unreal engine 5 or no maybe when you watch this video this this problem has solved but you can change it like this in here and now when you click in here you can change it again okay so first you should change it in here and after that you can just select in here and change the color that was why i did change this background so you can see this border padding okay 
The next one is this mark you. If you check this mark you, it's uh, something like loading, okay? And when you change this percentage in here, nothing will change. It's just for loading. When you uh, want to load something, you can show the user this, that it's doing something, right? So let's just uncheck this again and fill it up again. And now we are done with, with this progress. And let's just go to a sub. We did talk about background image that we can set the tint in here. And of course, we could choose an image and change its image size. And of course, we could tile it, okay? Horizontal tiling or vertical tiling or both tiling, okay? Depends on your image. So the next is fill image, okay? Right now it's white. It means nothing will be added to this, okay? So if I change this color to something like blue, you can see the effect on it, okay? Let's just change it back to white. And again, in here, you can use color as well. Just remember this. When you change this image size, you can see with increasing this image size, the animation in here, the speed of the animation in here increase. And if you change it, uh, decrease it, you can see the animation uh, speed is decreased as well. So let's just change it like this. And you can see the effect on it, okay? And next, next thing is this mark you image. So you can change the uh, image of the mark you that's loading um, in here, or you can change the tint color of that. Okay. And if you check this enable fill animation, you can see that it has this animation. And if, if you uncheck this, you can see it will be a static, right? So let's just again go to here and change change this image size back, so it will have a continuous animation. So first thing to do for creating a health bar in here, we can change the color of this in here with this tint in here. So let's just make it green. And this background, I want to make it black again, okay? And no, it's more like a health bar, right? So if we compile and run our game, no, it's it looks like a health bar, right? And whenever we click in here, the health decrease. And we can use it in our game. All the other details in here, I did talk about them a lot. If you follow my videos about UI and GUI design in Unreal Engine, file you know all about it by now it's it's common details between all of the widgets just watch for example my video about text widget okay in unreal engine 5 and you will know all about it the difference between uh, this progress bar with text and buttons is just this style and progress that we talk about it i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye